probably tell from the title of the video exactly what we're going to be talking about today. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I wear the shoes I'm going to be talking about to death. It felt so necessary to make a video because I wanted to give a very strong comparison of the ones that I do have and kind of give you a guide and navigate you through the world of Christian Louboutin loafers, more in specific, the Dandelion Flat. Just so you guys know, I am a size 42 in most European shoes. In my Christian Louboutin Louis flats, which are the sneakers, I wear 42 to 42.5. In YSL Chelsea boots, I do wear a size 42. So hopefully that gives you kind of a reference of shoe size, just so you know how sizing works with these shoes. Everyone should know by now that Christian Louboutin shoes come in a box like the one behind me. The first pair I actually want to cover, and I will be doing on for video of these, is the full-on Serene, I want to say. Glitter dandelion flats flats. Now these are the full spike ones. These are formerly known as the roller boys if I'm not mistaken uh, I think they just call them the dandelion spikes now and One thing about the dandelion before I get into all the different models that I currently have because this is my favorite Christian the Bouton shoe to collect the dandelion is a very very nice loafer and it can be comfortable and it can be super uncomfortable depending on the pair you buy. So these ones are super comfortable and super bendable because they are canvas I want to say. Canvas lined with leather in the inside and these ones are super comfortable and super duper nice to wear. The patent leather ones hurt bad when you first break into them but after a while they're pretty good. And everyone knows that the bottom of Christian Louboutin shoes have the red sole. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a more fresh pair that I have and show you the difference of the soles. So right here is a dandelion flat that I've probably worn probably five to six times already. This one has been worn over 20 times easily. And um, you can just see the only part of red that I have is right here. Christian Louboutin and other luxury shoe cobblers do resole Christian Louboutin shoes. When you purchase your Louboutin shoes, Ask who is the cobbler they recommend for resoling Louboutins in your local city and they will give you a strong recommendation just for the simple fact that when you bring in your Christian Louboutin shoes to get repaired, they send them off to a cobbler themselves. So kind of keep that in mind. This is the difference. The red sole does not last. I don't really try to protect the red sole. Granted, you know, there might be maybe down the line if I buy like a very very high price point fully Swarovski crystal studded pair um, I would probably keep those in pristine only to wear out um, condition but I buy my shoes to wear them to their fullest so this is the reality of the sole that's why I always tell people when you buy a Louboutin shoe make sure you're falling in love for the shoe itself and that the red sole is just an added extra touch because once this wears off you're left with the shoe. Well, this kind of has like that tiger fish print on them so you can kind of see like the the waving print through it and these are beyond shiny. These always start a conversation when I wear them and they are by far my most favorite pair of dandelions that I own which was why it was only right to show them first. Um, these are extremely comfortable. They were a little hard to break into at first and you could see the stain of Aquaphor that I use on my heels on the back right here. But these are by far my most favorite pair because they, they, they just speak, they speak to the crowd that enters them. I think, you know, when people see you style this with an outfit, they know you kind of have the confidence to take a risk to wear a Michael Jackson Thriller shoe, a Cinderella kind of shoe, so they're just an amazing shoe. I would love to get these in the black spiked glitter version very, very soon, hopefully, and um, I just absolutely love these. I will say, though, the canvas ones do lose spikes very easily. I already have to get replaced a spike. I'll find it. I think it's on the other pair. Um, there's a spike that needs to be replaced already, but it's just no issue. I drop off the shoe, they take care of it, and I pick it back up. You will see an on-foot video of all the shoes I'm showing today. Next up, let's talk about the Hawaii Kawaii print. Now, this one is another conversation starter. I have to admit, though, these are probably my most uncomfortable pair of Louboutin dandelions, and I'm going to tell you why. These are pebble leather, which is amazing because these things do not scratch at all. They're, you can probably see the texture of the pebble from here. These things don't scratch at all. I mean, honestly, someone could probably run a nail through them and they wouldn't scratch. 
and I love that because the print on this is beautiful. I I love these shoes and whenever I pull them out, they just bring so much joy to me. But this shoe, I'm bending it as hard as I can right now, is not very flexible. So I can only wear these for about, I want to say, a solid three hours before I want to kill whoever's near me. And I say that jokingly because you can see right here, I have Band-Aid imprints and Aquaphor Vaseline stains from having to keep my heels so smooth and comfortable for wearing these. And I'm determined to break these in. I mean, I've worn these shoes a pretty good amount of times. I have to say at least 10 times, 9 to 10 times. And they are still so, so stiff. So I'm determined to break these in. I know fall and winter is right around the corner, so I probably won't maximize my use of these that much. But you know, when I go on vacation and stuff, and especially if I'm going somewhere tropical, these are amazing. So it's just such an amazing shoe. This was by far one of my top favorite Louboutin collections he ever did. I think this was so well thought out. This is so retro Hawaiian. I, I just think of those, you know, 1950s retro Hawaii days, like a, a guy in a sailor outfit and his Hawaii Kauai loafers. I don't know. It's so weird when I see a certain pair of shoes, they kind of tell a story to me and that's the story these give off to me. So retro, so classic. This is actually a classic shoe to me. Um, I love wearing all black with this, and I love, love, love wearing a white dress shirt with a top button undone with some navy blue trousers and these shoes. It looks so sharp and just so, so cool. So um, these are the Dandelion Hawaii Kawaii's. Absolutely love these. Um, they're a little bit of a pain, actually a lot of bit of a pain, but you know, the design on this is just so nice, and it's not like a cheap cheap Hawaii print. It's very well thought out. The colors are so vibrant and it's just a nice shoe. So I absolutely love these. Next up we have here is actually my first pair I ever bought and these are the classic patent leather dandelions. These are the classic patent leather dandelions and I actually think I might take these to Paris. I don't know yet. I've worn these a lot. Probably my most worn after the spiked ones, but the wear on these isn't too bad. There is some, you know, wear and tear, but you still see a bulk of the red. These are just, this is classic Louboutin. It doesn't actually get more classic than this. I think if you're gonna be starting off your dandelion collection, I think it's best to get a solid color version, and I would recommend getting the black ones. I think, I think the black patent looks the most amazing. Now, don't get me wrong, soft leather or kid leather Louboutin loafers are super nice, but I find that Louboutin does patent shoes the best. I mean, even from his women's so Kates or Pigalle's to the dandelion like this, the Louboutin patent does not look cheap. There's been shoes from Prada, um, other brands, Armani, things like that, where the patent looks so cheap and almost like plastic. These are super duper high shine, they look amazing and they're beautiful and go with a lot, a lot of really dressed up outfits and I do dress up a lot for work. So these are amazing and I love wearing these actually with dark denims and like a black t-shirt just to kind of go against the norm of, oh, patent leather shoes can only be worn for dress occasions. I like to challenge that a little bit so I love wearing these on a more casual day just to really flare up an outfit and um, being patent leather, these are, again, very, very impossible to scratch and very, very easy to clean. This is just classic Louboutin at its finest to me. And last but not least, the more fun version and the hybrid of both of those, maybe if you were to combine the full spike ones I have and the classic patent leather ones, here we have, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this is the actual name of them, the Captain Daddy flat. So the Captain Daddies right here are amazing. Um, they're kind of like a tattoo parlor meets rebel vibe with these loafers. They say mom and dad on them and they have that classic tattoo, you know, like if you were to go to a tattoo shop and go through a tattoo book and be like, oh, I want that tattoo. This is kind of like a template I feel like you would run across. Um, just a really, really nice, very comfortable shoe. These are actually my most comfortable dandelions and I have to say it's probably because these are soft leather. So the base of the shoe is soft leather. You do have a patent cap with the spikes on them. No spikes lost on these whatsoever. And the red on the bottom of this is still pretty red. I've probably only worn these two to three times so far. Um, 
but I'm glad I have a leather pair because this just confirmed to me that I need to buy leather, soft leather shoes from Louboutin and from the Dandelions because it is actually the most comfortable. Um, the patent ones, full patent is very comfortable too, but these, I mean, you can see just how much I could squish these. Um, they're very, very comfortable, go with everything, dressed up, dressed down. They are definitely a conversation starter. Um, they're just a fun take on a very traditional classic dress shoe. So you guys probably saw the on foot video. That's my take and my little two cents on the Louboutin Dandelions. They are an amazing style from the Christian Louboutin line. I think by far the best loafers he has that are consistent. Just wanted to show my little collection of them because I am probably going to be adding more very, very soon. And I just wanted to kind of recap the ones I have right now and how they serve purpose in my life. If you guys want to see videos on all these shoes, the ones that I showed today individually, I do have them. I'll Follow me on Instagram. I always post outfit of the day. I was going to say outfit of the day videos, but it's actually outfit of the day photos. So go ahead and follow me on there. The next video is going to be when I'm taking to Paris and then... I'm off to Paris, so thank you guys so much for watching, and as always say, until next video, I'll see you guys then.